Work boots for flat feet and what features do we look for as a podiatrist when we're fitting someone with flat feet into a work boot? And so the features that we look for in the work boot are very, very similar to what we'd look for in a running shoe if we're fitting someone in a running shoe with flat feet. But we need to add a few elements of protection um, that the work boots add to help to protect the foot on the job site. So quickly, what... Um, what we look for in a running shoe is to help, to, we need to be able to support the foot and support the arch and cushion the foot and then we add on the, the protection feature of the work boot. So we need the work boot to work with the normal mechanics of the foot. So there's a few things we need to stop. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that the foot only really, we only want to encourage it to bend through where the first toe bends. So this is this place where we want the work boot to bend. And we want to also limit pronation because this will make the arch flatten further and it'll, it'll accentuate the features of the flat foot. And the reason we want to try and limit the flat foot or the, or the over pronation um, when a person's got a flat foot is because this is very damaging to the joints of the midfoot, the ligaments of the feet, and also the muscles that try and control the feet because they try and actively raise the arch. Uh, and if you've got your body weight trying to squash the arch down, it'll be damaging to the joints and ligaments as they just grind, the joints grind on each other and wear out. The ligaments get stretched and then they suffer repetitive strain injuries and the muscles and ligaments try and control the foot so they get very tight and worn out. <clears throat> so the features we look for in the work boot to help to uh, limit flat feet or over pronation is where does it bend? So remember we only want it to bend where, through, where your big toe bends uh, because this is the only spot where we really want to encourage that heel toe motion. So we want it to rock off the, the boot just like this. We don't want it to twist too much because again, we want to support the foot so it doesn't over pronate. Um, we want it to have a nice solid yet shock absorbing midsole. So this area through here is the midsole. So we've got the outsole and the outsole, the upper and the midsole is in between or in the middle of those two. And so you can actually see that my finger can actually go dig right into there. And that, that's very similar to the, the density that we'd use on a, a really high level running shoe. Um, when we look at the boot front to back, we want to make sure that the forefoot to rear foot alignment is level. So we don't want it to be twisted out of, it's very hard to twist this one actually, because it's got such a nice shank in there, it won't allow it to twist. Um, but we want this to be nice and level front to back, so when our foot hits the ground, it can be nice and level on the ground. Um, obviously, we want it to be lace up, so as the boot stretches, but when we use um, real leather like this one, um, the leather will stretch and give over time and adapt to the shape of your foot. We want to be able to adjust that and, and tighten that up so we can actually pull it up through the arch. And the other thing we use in, in the Ergonics Elements work boots is this nice high shock absorbing insole. Um, it's got an anti-static section here. That's why you can't see this front cushioning section. Um, so they're the basic features of what we look for in a, any shoe to, to treat a flat foot. Um, now, in a work boot, there's a few other little things we need to look for. We need to have this really high heel counter. So we've got a 2 mil thermoplastic heel counter in, the, in this boot. The, what it actually does, it helps to grip the heel from behind and help to stop it from pronating and supinating. The other thing it does is when we lace up the boot and the laces pull the heel down into the boot this way, the heel counter can grip the heel and hold the foot straight. So we actually grab the foot like this and help to stop it from rolling in and rolling out. It also helps to stop with ankle sprains and just gives a lot more stability in the boot. Now, when we're treating a patient with flat feet uh, with a work boot, if we've got a removable insole in the boot, we can actually, if they need more support than what this insole will actually give them, which is often the case as a podiatrist, we make custom made orthotics. So we'll actually scan the foot and then custom make something to the arch height of the patient. We can take a custom made orthotic and it will just drop straight into the boot um, because we've already taken out and made enough room with this insole. You can see it's actually about four, three or four millimeters thick in the forefoot and that gives plenty of room to put a full length soft or you can use a hard orthotic with a, a full length extension on there to make it nice and comfortable in the boot. The reason we use a full length orthotic in the work boots is it'll hold in place and it won't slip and slop around. If we use a three quarter length, it can actually slide forward as you're putting the boots on, which can be a little bit annoying. Um, <clears throat> so that's the features that we look for when we're fitting a work boot. This is the Ergonics Elements work boot. 
Um, it's a great boot for fitting custom-made orthotics or if you just need a little bit more support, it already comes with a uh, off-the-shelf arch support insole. So it's got this nice long high arch support, deep heel cup, and it's got the four foot cushioning positions you can see here, here and here. Um, and it does add a hell of a lot more comfort to your, the, to your feet across the workday. Um, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any more questions, please comment below or um, you can try the Ergonics Elements work boots at the Ergonics website at ergonics.com.au. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. It's very simple to do and it really does help us out. If you need further information on the topics discussed, please follow the links in the description and that will take you to our website where we've got more information on these topics. If you have a specific question that you'd like to ask, please comment in the comment section below and we'll do our best to make a video to address your question. If you have any further comments or questions, you can find us at ergonics.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.